Hi guys, Kevin Lee Jacobs here. On today's episode of Delicious Living, I'm going to make my super duper chicken roulades. This is a great dish because you can make it well ahead of time and just pop it in the oven 35 minutes before your guests arrive. Furthermore, it's gluten-free and it's low carb, so almost anyone can eat it. To make the egg crepes, start with six large eggs, preferably organic, and break them into a large mixing bowl. I always crack my eggs straight down so that I don't get any shells in the mix. Look at the yolks in these eggs. That's how you can tell they're organic. They have a very bright orange yolk. Grab your wire whisk and beat the eggs to smithereens. I always push down on the yolks first just to break them up. And then I go round and round with the whisk. Just beat them really well. Then add a nice pinch of salt. It's probably just less than half a teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt. Then whisk in one fourth cup of milk. How easy was that? To cook the crepes, you'll need a non-stick skillet that is six inches diameter on the bottom. So this skillet is probably seven and a half inches across. So you want to measure the bottom. And again, six inches, because you don't want the crepes to be too small or too large. Six inches is perfect. You can grease the skillet with a little butter, or you could use a nonstick vegetable spray. And just give the skillet a little spritz. And then take your egg batter and add just a scant quarter cup of the egg. Swirl it around in the skillet. I think my heat is a little too high. And you just want to cook the crepe until it's cooked on the underside. You don't have to flip these crepes over. These are the easiest crepes in the world to make. When the crepe looks dry on top, just flip it over onto a cooling rack. And look at this. It really looks like a traditional flour crepe, but there is no flour whatsoever in the mix. I'll do another one for you. Little spray. Again, a half, a, a quarter cup of egg in the skillet. Swirl it around. And this takes, oh, maybe 30 seconds. And again, just knock it out. Another perfect crepe. And you can layer or even stack the crepes. They won't stick together. You can even make the crepes way ahead of time and just pop them into a Ziploc bag and refrigerate them or for longer storage, freeze them. They'll freeze for a good three months. Bang! Ooh, that one's even prettier. Okay, so I'll finish these crepes. Oh, oh, I know what I was going to tell you. This recipe makes eight to 12 crepes, but you'll, you will only need eight crepes for our chicken roulades. My crepes, which in reality are just little omelets, are done. So let me show you. So you have stacked them and they do not stick together. And <clears throat> here's the neat thing. You can fold them or you can roll them. Very flexible. For the filling, which again, you can really play around with. Um, I'm using some chicken 
uh, chicken breasts uh, achieved from a store-bought rotisserie chicken. You, of course, can bake your own chicken breasts or steam them in your instant pot, whatever. And <clears throat> three carrots, some parsley, and some mayonnaise, and some salt and pepper. I'm going to use a food processor to grind and shred my chicken and carrots. If you don't have a food processor, you can always just shred the chicken by hand or chop it finely, and you can shred the carrots on a box grater. Use the small holes on the box grater. So in goes the chicken, and I'm going to add about a third cup of mayonnaise. By the way, if you're low carbing it, uh, or if you're on the Atkins diet, you can eat a whole jar of mayonnaise and not gain any weight. It doesn't contain any carbs. Then add a pinch of salt, a few grinds of black pepper, put the lid on, and pulse a few times just to break up the chicken. You, you don't want to turn this into baby food. Looks good. Then remove the metal blade and replace the blade with the shredding disc. I'm using the small hold side of the shredding disc. Get on there. There we go. On goes the lid. Out comes this piece, whatever it's called. And then you can set your carrots. These are kind of skinny carrots, so I can just put them through the feed tube. And shred. Cover your ears. This is going to be kind of noisy. Done. Then transfer the carrots and chicken into a bowl. I find a purple bowl works best for this recipe. And add some freshly minced parsley. Actually, my parsley is just coarsely chopped. And stir it in. And if the mixture looks a little dry, as mine does, add a little more mayonnaise just to bind all of the ingredients. Also add some kosher salt, and some grinds of black pepper. Instead of parsley, or in addition to parsley, you could use fresh tarragon or thyme. Thyme leaves would be great. Um, use your imagination. Then be sure to taste a little bit of the mixture. just to make sure it's seasoned properly. Mine needs a little more salt. And mix again. Let's fill these suckers. Now take a crepe, and you see that it has a very pretty side, and it has a not so pretty side. So you put the less pretty side facing up, and then spoon a tablespoon or two of the chicken mixture, and boy, doesn't that look good, on one edge of the crepe, and then you roll it up, like so. And by the way, in French culinary terms, uh, roulade means anything that's rolled up. I'm putting these in a greased nine by 13 baking dish. Then sprinkle the top 
with some shredded cheese. Sometimes I use extra sharp cheddar cheese. Sometimes I use Parmesan or Asiago. Uh, today I'm using some finely shredded Swiss cheese because I happen to have it in my refrigerator. I know that cheese isn't considered low carb, but it's low carb enough. And at this point, you could cover the dish and uh, stick it in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours, or you could cover it with aluminum foil and freeze it for up to three months. And when you are ready to bake, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. My oven's already preheated, so in go the roulades. The roulades need to bake for about 25 minutes or until the filling is hot and the cheese melts. My roulades are done and I actually stuck them under the broiler after they finished baking. Um, I let them broil for just two or three minutes to further brown the cheese on top. I'm serving the roulades on a bed of arugula and I put two on a plate because that seems to be about the proper serving per person. And now I'm going to pour some lovely Pinot Grigio. It's the right beverage for these roulades. Now for the taste test. Mm. Hot. If you think low carb is boring, guess again. These are incredibly delicious. Chickeny, carroty, parsley-y, and of course the egg roulades are fabulous and gluten-free. So again, your gluten-free friends can eat them. And by the way, I once lost a whole bunch of weight on the Atkins diet by eating low-carb dishes just like this. I went from 170 pounds down to 133 pounds, which actually was much too thin for me. So I'm feeling a little overweight now, so I'm planning to do low carb for, oh, maybe a week. And then next week, I'll start eating chocolate cake. Meantime, I hope you'll give this recipe a try. It's really wonderful. It's really easy to make. I also hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now. Yeah.